Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Jesher Lecoul Geophysic Universal Time. You can see and you can purchase this deadbeat second world time Jesher Lecoul on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see additional high resolution images of this watch, accessories included with the sale, and of course pricing information. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see we've come quite away from the 35 millimeter 1958 Geophysic. In fact, this one is 42 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of the crown. From lug to lug, the watch is 48.5 millimeters, quite manageable, such that the watch will wear with proportion and security on a wrist, in my estimation, as small as 14.5 centimeters in circumference. And in terms of thickness, at only 12 millimeters thick with a generously sloped bezel and domed sapphire, you can easily wear this watch underneath a tight formal sleeve or cuff. Now, JLC launched the Tribute to Geophysic 1958 in 2014. It was a nice watch, beautifully built and vintage evocative, but heavily reliant on reflected glory and nostalgia. In a sense, it was lacking a little bit of an identity of its own. In 2015, the Geophysic became a full model line, and with models like the Geophysic Universal Time seen here, the watch began to depart from reflected glory and nostalgia and forge strong identities of its own in the modern sports watch sector. Now you can see the watch is bigger than the original, but it's also dramatically detailed in a fashion that pays deference to history. First, let's work our way from the outside in. This is the second generation Jezreel Lecoult deployant clasp. I should say double deployant. The first double deployant debuted in 2006. This one is a recent innovation coming online just in the last two years. You can see that the JL logo has a little bit of an outcropping to emphasize it more dramatically. And of course, a double deployant is always a little bit more agreeable to a smaller wrist. The watch has a flat, beautifully made, monotone stitch, rectangular scale alligator leather strap. It has a little bit of a sheer to it that builds its volume as it approaches the lugs and the two taper together. You'll note the lugs are fairly complex. Faceted on their underside, they feature a gorgeous expanding reverse tapered bevel. Polished on the tops, there's a gorgeous longitudinal satin finish to the case on the sides, and the bezel is high polished to make the most of what's there, but it's also pared down to make the most of the dial. So the dial is pushed out to the extreme edges of the real estate of this 42 millimeter watch. And what a dial. You can see the world time chaptering outboard, one city for each of the world's 24 principal time zones. Inboard of that, there is a alternately blue and white world time chaptering calibrated to 24 hours the colors indicating day and night, and at center, a spectacular Mercator projection. And you'll note, almost like a bird's eye view of the world from the North Pole, there's a gradient from almost silver to a rich cobalt blue at the edges. And what you're looking at is actual lacquer. It has a beautiful gloss appearance to it, plays with the light, in gorgeous fashion, and the way it plays with the light contrasts nicely with the metallic sunburst grain that runs across all of the land masses. That has a gentle glow, the gloss, a beautiful bright shine. It's incredibly handsome and original, and richly sets this watch apart from World Time watches sold by, for instance, Jezre Lecoult's junior sister, Mont Blanc, in the Richemont group, or its peer, Vacheron Constantin. This watch, not just a geophysic with an identity of its own, but a very different aesthetic for a world timer within the Richemont group. Now, this one works a little bit differently than past Jezreel Lecoult world time watches. The world time reference ring with the 24 principal cities is not mobile. London or Greenwich Mean Time is always set at six o'clock, and then you set the time adjacent to London by moving all of the indications in sync. Once you have correct time set for GMT, then you can see the time simultaneously in all of these other cities. You have a second crown position after winding that allows you to set the local time independently, and that's how you return the center time to your local time, even after you've set GMT. Now you'll also note the deadbeat seconds function, and let's take a look at the caliber 772 that produces it. Now this is a manufacture movement built exclusively for the geophysic model line. For this year, it gets 
deadbeat seconds and world time, and it accomplishes that with a number of interesting refinements starting with the winding system. We first saw the ceramic born unidirectional winding system on the auto tractor in the early 2000s, and that refinement is added here. It also features a beautifully skeletonized rotor with inset JL logo, the better to allow you to see the movement in detail in spite of the central rotor. Moreover, the watch has a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance like the auto tractor, which means greater timing stability and ability to hold a regulation as set by a watchmaker in spite of shock and vibration on the wrist. Now when you pull the crown, yes, it hacks, but not only does it hack, but you can see that the balance is discontinuous. It's shaped like a yoke, not a circle, and each side of the yoke is an interlocking horizontally opposed J and L logo. This is to the aerodynamic benefit of the balance. Developed originally in the original Master Compressor Extreme Lab of 2007, thus we call this particular balance the Gyro Lab Balance. Now everything else about the movement is classic Gégéral Coult. Handsome Valet de Jeu finishing, real heat oxidized fired blue screws, gorgeous Cote de Genève across all surfaces. There is a beautiful drawn pattern across the edges of the bridge, not polished anglage, but a neat drawing to remove any burrs and signs of original manufacture. It's handsome, it's high tech, it packs a 40 hour power reserve and beats at 4 hertz. This is a watch that is simply bursting with original features, a gorgeous dial, a vintage evocative case, a handsome and comfortable strap, an exclusive caliber, and of course there's that Intriguing deadbeat seconds. It's interesting to note that when you hold the watch to the ear, you can hear the deadbeat seconds mechanism, which drives off the escape wheel, and you can hear the 8 beat per second oscillation of the balance. This watch has two distinct heartbeats when you hold it up to its ear, so you're really getting two watches in one if you want to think about it. You're getting a deadbeat second and a world timer, and you're getting a watch with two distinct heartbeats. So whichever mood you're in, this watch is ready for you. You can see it and you can purchase it on our website.